Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Hogwarts Legacy. I keep thinking about Harry Potter Legacy, and I need to stop. Uh, yeah, we're just going on with the main quest now. Uh, we just learned Incendio. Incendio. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rattle us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. <laughs> Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Okay. Perfection. Now, I want to maintain that. Revelio. I do got. God damn it. So my question is Revelio. Okay, so I can use that while under the charm. <laughs> Lost. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract. I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Oh, no, no. The key. Here it is. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? <laughs> Good gracious. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Use basis cast while undetected to lower authority figures and enemies to the desired location. Ghost, don't let her see you. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're on. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it. Ah, I can get those now. You're being awfully cryptic. No, I don't like that. I know what is about with hands. I don't like when they move. At least a disembodied hand moves. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Don't get in trouble. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. <laughs> now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Oh, Repero? Repero. I should really, uh, Revelio. Revelio on me. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. That's it. <laughs> I swear to God, it says Avada Kedavra, but I could be mistaken. Um, repairo? Repairo. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Oh. 
Rebellion. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. This must be the way forward, but to where? <laughs> Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Ooh, chess. Deluxe house cloak. <laughs> Incendio. Oh. <laughs> Rebellion. It is a book after all. I need to get better at dueling. Come on, show me what you need to show me.
wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. <laughs> Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> oh no, Sebastian. No, I don't like that pulled guy anymore. Do I need the uh... I think I need to be under disguise, right? Where's all the students at? Hmm. 
Rebellion. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare <laughs> me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them? What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Of course. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Revelio. <laughs> Handy resource indeed. As soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay. Come on, pressing them. Hamlets are small communities. Professor Fig and Weasley, 
have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. I heard that there's two, uh, a large potion stand that you want to buy from that, uh, one shop. And, um, a large planter, I also believe. Don't buy the small one, so I'm going to save up. How much money do I have? I need like six thousand dollars. Never forget what that awful book do. Revelio. Spare a moment. I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Have good luck. <laughs> I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and... Well, mine, unfortunately, took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Are you afraid of your own shadow, too? <laughs> Surely you're joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogeys, you know. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. <laughs> hmm. Hidden. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio. How am I supposed to get those things? Almost always use 
<laughs> I guess I'll go and do it. Oh, I can't wait to get access to the broom. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Ooh, what's this place? I won't go there. That looks like a dungeon. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. Oh. <laughs> Revelio. Lumos. Incendio. Dueling gloves, eh? Lumos. I just got some for my inventory. Uh, I gotta be level 11. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rebellio. Lumos. You know what? Lumos, repair on. Seems the devil's now was protecting a chest of some kind. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. 
Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. <laughs> I remember that from Harry Potter 1 uh, when Ron Weasley almost died. <laughs> Ooh. Revelio. What's that down here? Oh. While I'm here, what's that? Rebellion. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Professor Garlic, how wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. No, How the lag's back. It is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, let's protect our ears. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. <laughs> the soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket. 
putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair us. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. You know. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. If that was a dog that should have killed me. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I nearly went deaf. <laughs> I'll say. I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy. This means restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. The Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. <laughs> Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. Here we are. Home of the... Go on. See that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Hold it in. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get there. But mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I was imagining it already. <laughs> Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. No! You monsters! Revelio. And 
with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear... I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. <laughs> to make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes to plants as well as friendship. Kindness and concern are as much as as in the great hall. I don't want to just leave these here, but still. Off on another adventure, are we? You know, bitch. Alright. Uh, attend this potions. flower Apparently Mary. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones There he is Have you found anything to uh Prove my brain. Hello, Duncan. I mm. have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to puff scheme dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Levioso, Accio, Incendio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Levioso! Accio! They sparkle green, so I think I need a green. Alright. One more class. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guiding the school after the incident? Professor Black would never allow this. It would make him look Oceans. Rebellion. Rebellion. There it is. Oh, 
accidentally. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Come on. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from Thank what you. I hear of your recent <laughs> exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Collect My Ashwin Ray. Keeping me home from school this year after the rumors. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Why well, do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as <laughs> clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, Perhaps you could grab it for me. Oh, what does a uh, Fooper Feather do? I'll get you the Fooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper Feathers aren't that valuable. 
Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Oh, feather. <laughs> I'm a little thief. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Efficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And Doris. Now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! Dragon no. dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. <laughs> what now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again, Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. <laughs> Heard him talking about taking responsibility. You got me in trouble, you bastard. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. <laughs> Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Oh, you you just jinxed it. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Nice to see you, my young friend. I want to go to I need to go get my uh, plant. It should be done by now. Hopefully. Maybe. I think it's down here. Yep, yep. Oh! 
okay, so I just keep on coming down here and grabbing it. Well, today has been fun. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm in it here. My name is Devil D, and I hope you guys uh, catch me in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>